Hey there friends, Nibs again, out here in the garage today, doing a little bit of goofing around. It was a beautiful day all day, and I get home from work and it's pouring rain now. So I actually wanted to mow the lawn and then head over to the range, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get to do that. But uh, anyway, I have, actually have a pretty big mail call, and I have actually some local stuff, pretty cool stuff to show you guys. Um, let's get into that first. Um, actually, let me do one thing first. So, kind of created a big brouhaha about this Crossman 362 Anniversary Edition. I am 99% sure, I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm 99% sure that I am just going to keep this one. I did talk to with the manager, and I'm not saying this to be vindictive or anything, it's more sad than anything else, but uh, it kind of gives you an idea of the state of what's going on with Crossman, I think, though. Um, they said this is as good as it gets. So, um, not perfect, but I was able to uh, polish up the wood and, and get it looking presentable. <laughs> Still... Uh, if you look really close, you can see the sanding scratch marks and stuff. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna buff it out any further, but uh, and I was able to get the. It's still not great, but I was able to get the handguard aligned properly. And uh, so anyway, enough about that. Uh, just we'll be uh, we'll be shooting that and having fun with it. But uh, let's get into it. Went to the local gun shop. A lot of people been complaining about me needing to buy better ammo and all this stuff. But, again, I live in New York State. If you know of a retailer that will ship ammo to New York State, good ammo. I mean, I've, I've found a couple of these, this and that. I can buy Federal Auto Match from. Uh, they'll ship them to my FFL. But I can buy Federal Auto Match at Walmart. So, um, I'm talking about... A, a good retailer that will sell Lapua or Elay or uh, you know some S S and K um, something good. So so actually this is a uh, a partial box of Elay match that the store owner just gave to me. But uh, we have uh, a number of boxes and I didn't pay that much for it, so I'm going to cover that up. But we have a, a number of boxes of Elay 10x. Which, uh, if you want me to shoot good ammo, I, don't, I can't think of any much better than that. Uh, at least in the Elay brand, right? Uh, so I have quite a number of boxes of that. I did some work on an air gun for the for the shop, and uh, in lieu of actually paying me any kind of you know payment to, for doing the work for them, uh, I said, well, why don't you just knock a few dollars off of each of those boxes of uh, Elay 10x, and they gave me a, a certain amount off, and so I bought every box they had. <laughs> so uh, we'll have some good ammo. Maybe I'll get out and do some of these challenges that have been up if we can get a day at the range where it's not raining. <laughs> but uh, all right, let's get into the mail call. So I have several boxes coming in from Amazon, and uh, I have another one coming in from Discovery Opt. And uh, so this first one is one that. A viewer had uh, mentioned, sent me a, a message and said, and my wife actually opened the box because she thought she was waiting for another Amazon package too, and she thought this one was that one. So I order all the Amazon stuff here. So I told her it would be here Tuesday. Now her item is not in Doodle Friday. So, but anyway, so uh, uh, an Amazon or a subscriber had sent me a message saying that. Uh, have I tried this? Uh, it looks like the cheapest red dot on all of <laughs> all of uh, Amazon. Uh, it doesn't look bad in the pictures, and actually the reviews aren't bad for it either. But uh, this one is under eleven dollars or under twelve dollars. <laughs> uh, with with tax and everything, it is actually uh, just a little over twelve dollars. But we have this. Uh, if you look up survival land on Amazon uh, you will find this uh, little red dot and uh, 
So this one has just got some instruction instructions in the bottom there. It does come with a cleaning cloth. It does come with a CR2032 battery, an Allen wrench. And uh, I just want to kind of get a look at the, uh, the actual dot. So this is advertised as a 4 MOA dot, which is, you know, if it truly is 4 MOA, then it's probably pretty big. If it's, if it's any bigger than 4 MOA, then it might not be very useful, but um, so there you go so far. I mean, it looks very reminiscent of several uh, other brands that I've uh, portray, portrayed on the, uh, I mean, the lenses are clear. You can actually see through them. <laughs> How much more do you want for 11 bucks? But uh, let's throw this uh, battery in here real quick and just take a look at that dot. And this one actually has green and red selectable, uh, just so that you, know, you can rotate one side of the dial is red, one side of the dial is green. So that's even one step above a lot of the uh, much more expensive dots. All right, will it even work? <laughs> Oh yeah, and that's not a 4 MOA dot. That is a little bitty dot. Uh, it's difficult for me to capture it on the... Let me, let me see. Yeah, that's showing up really good. Look at that. That is a very tiny dot. <laughs> that is That's amazing. If this thing shoots good, this, this is a game changer right here uh, absolutely let's check the red at least so let's let me turn it down a little bit so with my astigmatism the the red is a little bit more uh, fuzzy but that green dot is crisp as all get out but I kind of I kind of tend to try to I got a lot of red dots but I try to tend to get green dots now because I've learned that with my astigmatism, the green dots uh, don't uh, don't get fuzzy as bad as the the, uh, the reds do. All right, so let's get on to this other one. You guys are gonna tell me I'm crazy. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. It's the uh, keep doing the same thing, and expecting different different results, right? Uh, but I ordered more pellets from Amazon. Um, silly silly boy. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look. All right, that tin looks okay. Still not very good packaging, uh, but I wanted to get some. <clears throat> so these are the Excite hammers. Uh, I believe these are an 8.3 grain they advertise them at. And uh, got, I got two tins of those. And maybe the maybe the uh, H&N Excite tins are a little bit a little bit more durable than some of the other ones. I got a can of uh, oh, where they at? I had to do this in a mail call because it was just the only thing that came in. But I got a can of uh, QIS pellets in, literally just in another bubble wrapper, and the the Amazon guy went whoo, and flipped it onto the the porch. I could hear this thing go thud on the porch, um, but I. I opened it up and checked all the pellets, and I didn't see any damaged skirts or bent skirts on those, so I decided to keep those. All right, so now these other two are items. So I, that's all stuff that I bought. Um, this other, these other packages are ones that have been sent over to me for review um, by their respective uh, manufacturers. First one is a, a CV Life package that uh, they asked if I would be willing to take a look at for them. And it looks like a real another really nice product. So let's see, it's got some little plastic tapes on the bottom here. So 
this is another uh, one of it. It, it kind of looks like that first red dot that we uh, unboxed there, but um, so this is a, a, another one of those. I like to call them rifle type scopes or uh, red dots. But uh, this one does come with a riser and with a uh, a low mount base. It's got a uh, cleaning cloth in there. It does come with a CR2032. Does come with a, a low mount base. Comes with a Torx key to do the work on it. Looks like the uh, the mounting base attaches to the dot with a Torx, and also the uh, attachment to the gun is with a Torx. All right, let's see. Sometimes these come with a battery already installed, and sometimes they don't. battery in there. So let's uh, so this one uh, let me take a look at the so this is a they're calling this a two MOA dot. Let's take a look at that. Alright that is a that is a nice fine little red dot. Not as much, not getting as much astigmatism blur as I was with that one over there. But uh, it is still a bit fuzzy. <laughs> but uh, that's just me, that's not the dot. Uh, this one does have uh, auto sleep. Um, and shake awake. Co-witness mount, so you can use underneath if you're wanting to use your regular sights. But we'll definitely be doing a much better review uh, on all of this stuff down the road. It just, again, we're doing a mail call, getting it unboxed. Comes with a little nice little bikini cover. Oop, let me make sure and turn that off before I. I think I actually have one of these already in my, in my, that I've bought myself, and it is a very nice. If if it isn't the same one, it's very very close. So, but let's go ahead and uh, put that away. We got uh, just a couple more things from Discovery Opt. Something, one of the one of the things I am very excited about. The other ones are are nice nice products, and we'll. Definitely take a look at them, but one of these items that's in here is, if it is what they claim, it is very cool. <laughs> Alrighty. So let's uh, get, get these guys out of here. in there good. <laughs> oh, it's there we go, it's moving now. Alright, so we have a real nice cantilever mount. That is something they retail separately from their scope line. What else we got up in here? Oh, we got another uh, a set of so these are 30 millimeter inch and a quarter high 1.26 high uh, set of rings for this scope that they sent let's take a look at the man I'm getting I gotta clean my bench up holy smokes so these ones are I've used these rings on several scope installations these are very very nice rings these are <laughs> uh, these are like jewelry I've shown these get to the uh, other guys at the shop but 
a very nicely machined. Uh, they actually have the torque specs for all of the bolts. Yeah, this is, this is I've got like some 34 millimeter ones. I've got some of the higher mount uh, 30 millimeter ones for several guns out here. So we'll be taking a real close look at those. Let's see, no tape on this. And uh, so this is a 30 millimeter by inch and a half uh, cantilever mount. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use this with, but they wanted to send it over for me to review. We'll, we'll find something to mount it up on. <laughs> We'll just use the Notos. It, Notos really works good for a test platform for stuff like this. But uh, there you go. Really cool. So not much, uh, not much extra. They really don't need a lot of extra. But it's just got the mount and it's got a uh, Torx key in here, and uh, that's pretty cool. So a lot of those cantilever mounts are intended to be like mounted on an AR. I don't have an AR, so <laughs> it's the, but uh, these are the rings. Let's take a look. These are the rings that are intended for that scope. So this scope, uh, I don't know if it's their first one, but this is Discovery Ops uh, effort at giving us a Magnum Springer rated uh, 3 to 9 by 40 scope. So it comes with some nice... Uh, and this is the first Discovery Ops scope that I've ever gotten. I've got probably eight or ten Discovery Ops scopes in the garage now. And every one of them have been 30 millimeter or bigger. I have a couple that are 34 millimeter. Um, but this one is actually a one inch tube. But uh, this is a very, very budget friendly. But it is a, the model is MS. 3 to 9 by 40 and the MS stands for Magnum Springer. So uh, I did tell uh, my contact over there I, I, I have just the gun for that. <laughs> the cleaning cloth fell on the ground. But uh, I got some instructions here. So I'm going to mount this up on my Diana 350 Magnum. Or Magnum 350, I think it's 350 Magnum. But uh, just like most of the Discovery products, very nicely uh, finished, very nicely machined. Uh, let's take the, this front cover off just so we can see everything here. But uh, there you go, that is uh, actually a little leveling position <laughs> so you can. Put your level on there and know that your hopefully your gun's level before you start. But uh, there you go, discovery opt. So I'm going to put this, like I said, I'm going to put this on my Diana 350 Magnum, and uh, that's nice and smooth. The only thing this thing could could use, I think, for being a, a, a air gun is an air gun scope is uh, an adjustable objective but maybe maybe that's part of the deal making it be springer rated is uh not having that adjustable object or adjustment like that that's just another thing to for the springer to be able to shake apart so it does have a uh, quarter moa clicks nice and tactile not bad so this is very very budget friendly uh under sixty dollars and uh if it can stand up to a 350 magnum it'll definitely be worth every penny of that i also do have that uh, benjamin uh, silver streak or silver uh, super streak that's <laughs> that's got some that's got some twang to it too so i might i'm gonna have to try it on that as well but uh, that'll be that'll be pretty cool if it if it can stand up to one of those, and this does have a lifetime warranty, so uh, don't be afraid to uh, mount it up on the worst gun you got and give it a try. But uh, anyway, longer video, but uh, lots to lots of stuff. I gotta clean my bench off. But uh, hope you guys like the video.
Till next time, have a great day.